it's openshot.org now I have no affiliation it's free you can actually install it for Mac for Windows even for Linux but just go to openshot.org and hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how to create a course from a long video how to take out the pieces for each of the lessons out of a longer video using a free tool called OpenShot. We're going to talk about how you can use OpenShot to actually create those lessons. We'll get to that, but first this. So the real question is this. What are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So that's right, there's a free tool called OpenShot that lets you create like a you know a bunch of lessons. Let's say you created a, a course, you did a training online that lasted an hour or two, and you know that you can take the little pieces out as lessons and organize them in a course. That is one of the simplest ways to create an online course and I'm going to show you how to use this free tool called OpenShot to do that. Before we get into that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to check out the video at cis476.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and showing you exactly how this whole process works. So let's get right to it. Let's go and get to it. Let's share my screen over here. So I don't know if you remember last week I did an episode on the secrets to finding your perfect prospects and I basically recorded and set up the this course with these lessons in here with just placeholders and I recorded you know a one hour or maybe it was 40 minute video or something that was the episode from last week and now in during that recording I actually did the lessons individually because that was the purpose kind of to well to explain this process right how to find your perfect prospects which by the way you can always go check that out but we're going to show you how to cut those videos out of the big video so first let me show you so open shot is a free software that lets you take a long video like I have right here and split it up into multiple pieces and what we can do is we can take out the pieces we need the first step obviously is to go and find in the video where it is that you have your uh, content so let's actually let's back up for a second and let's restart this open shot so you can see how it works all right let me pause the video and I'll be right back actually before I even show you that let's just go to the website it's openshot.org now I have no affiliation it's free you can actually install it for Mac for Windows even for Linux but just go to openshot.org and then you can download you go to up here you go download right and then you just go ahead and download it and install it on your computer so that you have it so it'll give you different options even a chrome os or win mac windows right so anyways you can download it after you've downloaded it basically you'll have it and let me just kind of start it up here so basically after it's installed and you and you uh <laughs> and you start it up it just loads up a blank environment for you to actually edit a video right just like lots of video editing software basically you have to bring in the video that you want to edit into the project area right here project files right here so then if I go to my downloads over here which is here this is the video I did last week right so I'm just going to take this drag it over to here right that's all you got to do then it puts that video in your work area now you can have OpenShot is a completely advanced video editor does so many things but today we're just going to talk about getting pieces out of a long video so the way that works we can uh, make this a little bit take up more room you can have multiple tracks so the way that you do you just take this video here you drag it down to your track number one you know there's no need to put it anywhere other than track one and then you just let go of the button so the next step is finding where the video that you want to cut is right so me I know it's at 1248 so I just go up here to 1248 right about here I know that this is the part of the video I want to cut out so we'll just play it a bit to just kind of pause it exactly where I want to cut this is about and um let's go back to this ebook right here hey my name is 
Jean-Serge. Okay, so you see where I say, hey, my name is jean right? So that's where I want to cut the video. So I'm just going to rewind a tiny little bit here. I can actually go back by a frame. Uh, no, that's a key point. Um, but I'm just going to go back a tiny bit. Actually, you can zoom in, by the way, right? If I just keep my... Uh, on the on the PC, on the Mac, it might be different. But on the PC, you press the control on your keyboard and then you can use the middle mouse button to scroll in or out right you just kind of go like this and actually I lied that didn't work why not I thought that's how you did this hold on let me go figure that out I'll be back oh it is right that is right it's just I wasn't on the right part you got to be on the video that you want to zoom into so I go here and I just click and then the up, up arrow as you can see we're kind of zooming in here where you're seeing that the timings are getting smaller and smaller or more and more between them right so 1248 1144 1040 if I keep going I got 1248 1216 13 right so this allows me to be more much more selective into where I go so I just take this and I can move it like this if I want then I can press play again to find out if that's the right spot that's fine that's all I need right all right so now let's talk about what this course is about and um let's go back to this ebook right here okay so this is where I want to go right over here just a tiny bit let's go there actually let's zoom in some more because I, I, I want to to be very precise in my there we go see the 1252 all right so 48 right here so this will be a lot better I'll be able to see exactly the point in time I need I press play again all right so it was, it was right about here so I can just click right there it'll take it right back to there and that's where it'll that's what I want to do I want to cut from there so let, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mark right here add a marker so now I have a marker positioned exactly where I was at and if I move it you can see there's a little marker there now and I can go previous marker like this right go to the marker and it goes straight to it right so now what we want to do is we want to find the end of that introduction because right now it's the introduction I'm trying to get out of this right so the introduction and let's just uh well go to here maybe I'm not sure how long it'll be lessons are for each of the secrets and um why would you listen to me okay anyways that's me just kind of talking about I used to just engage on the post your engagement how all those things are so I'm just trying to find the end right perfect prospects not just your ideal prospects not just the best prospects but the perfect prospects the one and actually what I'm realizing right now is you're not hearing this well you might be hearing a little bit yeah you're hearing it from the microphone this is all about all right so let's get to it um this is the end of the introduction we're going to go to the next okay so all right like okay so where I said that you know when I went like this this let's get to it so that would be the end of it so let's go back to where that was click on back over here and by the way the computer is going to be a bit slow right now because I'm recording at the same time right that's why it's not very quick when I click right but that's just it's not going to be the same when you're doing it right or it depends on your computer obviously specific prospects not just your ideal prospects not just the best prospects but the perfect prospects the one that actually love you that actually are interested in what you have to do that will actually respond to your message that will actually buy from you right those are your perfect prospects and how do you find them how do you nurture your prospects to become your perfect prospect that's what this all this is all about all right so let's get to it there we go so let's get to it so that's that's the cut so that's the end so now again I do another marker right here so now we have two markers right if I move this you can see there's a marker there and a marker there right let's go here all right so now you can see there's two markers and now what we do is we're going to create a video from that section so you go to the track the the first marker right the first marker right here by clicking on these like right you can click on those to go back and forth right so now we're in the first marker we right click on that little blue thing slice all we're going to say keep the 
right side right I want to keep the right side so I want to keep the right side so that'll delete everything up to the beginning here and then we're going to go to the next marker and we're going to say right here we're going to right click here we're going to say slice we're going to say keep the left side in this case now we want to keep the side that's on the left of there and delete we want to delete everything uh, afterwards so now we have this short video right here now the only thing left to do let's zoom back uh let's zoom back out because we need to pre place this at the beginning of the track so I gotta zoom out completely so that I see the whole timeline right then I just take this and I put it right at the beginning of the track so now the whole video that's on my screen is just that part that I want all right so then what I do is I click on the export video up top here oh you can't even see that let me scroll that down a little bit there we go actually I guess I didn't realize you couldn't see that but up here there's a button that red little button you click on that that's export video and um, it'll basically export just what you have there which is the that little intro that I have right so I'm going to just call this introduction so let's call it user one in well zero one I don't have a hundred videos introduction all right so I'm going to call it introduction and the folder is going to be into that uh, let's go find the folder that I have it that I want to save it in which will be under my videos here under how to find your ideal prospects in Facebook so let's do that in here and that's the folder we want oh let's create another folder let's create a new folder call it course there we go and I'm going to put that in here I'm going to say select folder so now it's just going to save in that folder right so now the next thing you got to do is you got to select how you want to output this as right I'm just going to do 1080p I think I have a I mean this is all this is all configured this is one of the things that I'm not really completely you know knowledgeable on I I don't definitely doesn't need to be HD it probably can be uh, mobile where's this there's no YouTube thing I thought I had a YouTube one or something 4k like and the thing is that the higher quality you take it the longer it'll take to create it which might be okay but it also depends on where you want to host it right me I'm just going to be posting it on a website <coughs> that's uh visible you know which basically would be something maybe like this uh this is a standard HD or maybe even a standard HD 25 29 right here which is the standard so I'm just going to use this one quality I guess I can leave it at medium and then you just say export video now this will take a while so we'll come back but when I click it you can see it'll start to actually do it and then after it's done we're going to come back and I'll show you the next the next step right all right so once it's done you're going to see it it'll say like this finish right we just click on done now the thing I want to show you too is because now we're doing multiple edits we're going to want to undo what we did so that we go back and find the second video right so I believe control z will work I, I forget whether that's but let's just do it control z control z uh, I had to click inside this area first so control z to remove the deletion control z to remove that deletion so now we're back to here where we have our original um, so we got these these little things we don't need those anymore so we can right click and remove marker and move this over to here right I guess I could leave them but anyways I'll just remove them so right click remove marker okay so I now I want to go to the first video so we obviously we're going to do this multiple times for all the videos so now let's just go and find I'll zoom in here so let's just go and find the actual other video of the part one right so I do remember uh right over here if I keep going through here then I did a video for each of the each of the secrets which is what I want to do here I want to go back let's move this over here I just want to find the video the secret number one oh actually that's I think that's where it is it's in here so 
so I gotta find the secret the secret one where I start talking about secret one okay it might be close to this let's just yeah sorry about this but I obviously yeah so this is all just the doing all those whether they're this you know there's secrets that leaders talk about in that uh so be consistent and persistent so be consistent <coughs> that's when I was writing up the 10 secrets now keep in mind that these 10 activities they're So I'm just going to move ahead to find that section where I do the secret number one and I'll be right back okay. all right so this is the start of secret number one so again I do the same thing I put a little uh, little uh, mark there and I'm just going to get it move it ahead here to kind of find the end by knowing your avatar right I actually created another ebook that you probably should be getting that has to do with your avatar. So let's just pause this and let's go to a little bit further out. I do believe those 32, 36. Zoom out some more. Okay, so let's go over here, maybe. No, that's still the same one. Your social media for to attract them. You've got. okay so I think that's the end of it is it I'm not going to do any of this stuff it's going to be too much work right okay. but if you have a okay let's go back here because I was talking about something else they are social media for to attract them you've got to have the right content to attract the right people that's the secret the secret to um sorry I'm, I'm kind of messed up here with my my stuff I got my tab so I could here's the other thing I could cut out these parts that aren't that great obviously right but right now we're not going to bother with that we're just going to put the video as is from start to end of that section so I just got to find the end of it right now knowing your avatar is the most important thing maybe after define after having a vision and making sure that you're you know why are you doing a building a business and all that that's super that's important right. too but you know if you don't know why you're building a business you're probably not going to do any of this stuff it's going to be too much work right but if you have a vision the first thing you're going to do is know your avatar you've got to know your avatar all right so go get that avatar.jcunningham.com go get that ebook for that okay let's say that's the end of it so I'm going to put a marker here <coughs> and again we're going to do the same thing we're going to zoom out to see both markers <coughs> we're going to go to the beginning of the marker I'm going to right click it and I'm going to say slice and I'm going to keep the right side and I'm going to go to the next marker and I'm going to slice it again and keep the left side now now I have just a little piece I'm going to zoom out completely so I see the whole the whole I don't know canvas or I don't know what you call it in video editing but and I'm going to take this and move it all to the beginning and then I can go and export it again and this will be the same thing and this will be the second one it'll be secret one let's say zero zero two zero two secret one know your avatar right so that's the secret so this will be the second video I'm going to click on export again and again it's going to go and do its thing it's going to export the thing and it's going to once it's done I'll be back and um, <clears throat> and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the exports and come back when they're all done so we talk about the next step of actually putting that video onto the onto the uh, your platform whatever platform you're using right so we'll be back all right so now I've got them all saved in files so if I just I can just close this and the files are here in my 
uh, you know on my computer right introduction secret one secret two secret three all the way to conclusion right so I've recorded all those I've not recorded they were already recorded I just split them up in separate files so now how do you use it obviously depending on the platform you're using um, it'll be different but in my case I use click eCourse let me just put the link in here for you uh, do I even have that yeah right here click eCourse so click eCourse.com that's where I use I mean I, I created it so that's why I use it and it's a but that's not the reason why you should use it well yeah because I created it right I created it for you to use so you can have your own place to host your own courses and uh, let's just kind of go through the process of how that works All right so, so basically what I want to do here is I just want to edit this lesson which is the introduction lesson then I just did that take yeah okay then I just upload that video to it now if you're using the free account you're gonna have to upload to YouTube and then use the links that YouTube to put in here but that's basically the same process right so I'm just gonna choose a file down here upload video choose file and I'm gonna go find that file in where we were a second ago under here into uh where is it how or is it how to find your ideal prospects under the course all right so we have introduction this is the introduction right here I just put that there and then I save it so I'm just going to do that for now just to kind of show you how that works so I'll just let it finish the upload and we'll be right back all right so after it's done it just shows you the page it goes and gets a thumbnail on its own now you can change the thumbnail if you want so we can uh if I just go back to edit this down here the edit little edit button if I go back to there you'll be able to see that I have uh, I can change the thumbnail to one of the two that are here or if I want I can even regenerate let's say I want to regenerate 20 thumbnails I can do that like this and I can even give it an offset so it starts at second number one or second number two but in this case I just regenerate a bunch of different you know thumbnails I can choose any of these by just clicking on them so let's just choose this one here which is the introduction anyways <coughs> which is probably similar to what it was already I guess this one is uh th anyways the one that's default is fine it's kind of the beginning of the video automatically and the other thing I can do is I can actually publish the post right now or let's just leave this like that I'm just going to cancel that and I'm going to go back to the actual list uh, the, the actual course if I just click on the course name right here it takes me to get back to the course name so I'm going to put the you're going to see the that that video is now with a thumbnail right and also shows how long it is it says one minute 38 these all all show zero with just the L as the thumbnail so I'm going to do another one to show you the process again so you click on the edit icon right here and then you go down here choose file and we're to choose this is the secret number one so we're going to choose secret number one which is video number two and we're going to save that again and that's going to upload and we'll be right back all right so as the video upload finishes it does this it says upload complete and finishing up and then it shows us the screenshot right here which you know that's fine I'll, I'll just leave it like that now I'll just upload all the other videos and we'll come back when we're done all right so they're all uploaded now so if I go back to the course we can see that they're all still as drafts so when they're showing up as uh, a pink like this and also the word draft shows up right here so now what I want to do is I just want to publish these all these so I'll just click on the publish on each of these that will make the courses public uh, not the courses but the lessons and let's just complete it all all right so now they're all published and that means that if somebody comes to the to the to the course they'll be able to see this I also need to edit the course let's uh, go edit the course itself so that's the edit for the course itself right there and I'm going to go into the access which is over here and I'm going to make this course published right over here public I say okay and I say done all right so I want this this is a course that contains uh short little videos about this 
topic right secrets of finding your perfect prospect and I want this course to be available to anybody who finds it and I want it to be free it's free right here you see it says free that's because I don't sell this course and the other thing I want to do is I actually want people to automatically get access to this when they fill the funnel to uh, get this um, ebook right so that I have a funnel so if I go to perfect prospect.gsgagnon.com it takes me to this funnel page now this is a funnel that's created in business center and if you click on this you enter an email address and your name and you'll get that ebook right so that so I'm this is part of what I'm going to be doing and maybe I keep this for the next episode but I want to show you how you can make it so that when somebody comes here if I go to a Weber I have my a Weber here and let's just load that up and kind of show you what happens when somebody registers to this particular ebook if they click on this and if you go there let's just put that in and think I think I have the perfect prospect if you just go to that link right now right perfectprospect.jsdaniel.com you can download this right now right you might have already done this because you've been in here so if I go back to this the, the actual list for it uh, I think it's either under the free ebooks I forget whether I put it in the free ebooks I guess I should go look at the funnel yeah let's go look at the funnel uh do we still have this here yes digital mentors is still under that that url for now so under digital mentors if I log into my digital mentors account uh we should have maybe I let me just go ahead set all that up and come back all right so I got it all set up so this is the funnel where I would uh, do this under here it's actually the campaign under my finding your perfect prospect email list so basically what happens is when somebody uh, goes there they get this uh they get this email right that says here's the your download with a link to download it which I'm not sure what that link is let me see what that is all right so it goes straight to the ebook that's fine uh which is what we want so this is going to take them straight to the ebook which is the actual ebook so they can download it directly and save it and read it and do whatever right but what I really should be doing is sending them to the course so the way that I would need to do that is under my account on Click eCourse I would go under here so first I know I need to know this is this is course number 188 all right so I keep that let's copy that I go under uh where is it under API keys API keys right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new API key to automatically give somebody access to this course we're going to do that real quick so you can have that in as part of this training as well I'm going to create a new API key and what I want here is I want uh grant course 188 right so grant so grant course uh perfect prospect all right and this will be um no expired date so this will be the key and the secret uh that I can revoke but it doesn't really matter because that only gives people access to that so even if you copied it right but when I go here I can say reveal right here and I want to grant access to course like and this gives an example of 169 but really what I want is replace that with 188 right so I'm going to copy this link and then I go back to my digital mentors account uh actually my my business center and I go into the integrations of the account and I just create a new integration so under here under account setup there's integrations and I'm just going to create a new integration here with that link with the course 188 right so instead so down here I just say add new integration and this will be grant course perfect prospect all right and the integration type is a web hook and the url is going to be this url except that it's 188 right we know it's course 188 so i'm going to say add integration and hopefully that'll just work yes perfect okay so now if i go back to the funnel under my marketing under funnels the funnel i had what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it 
execute this integration whenever somebody registers so if I go down here to where that is how to find your ideal prospect it used to be ideal but now it's perfect so this is the one here so all I do is I go to here to the actual funnel in this funnel here this funnel page and I just go to the uh, pop-up because it's a pop-up form when the pop-up form loads up if we can get it loaded okay pop-up form right here I'm going to click on the button here and I'm going to pop up form settings integrations I'm going to add a new integration and it's going to be when the contact gets created I select and I give them this webhook where is it grant isn't it grant something did I did I not call oh I think I do I need to refresh or something I'm going to reload the page oh grant course right here grant course perfect prospect okay so select an action send the webhook and I drew okay so now when somebody registers for this if I go say for example to this um well let's just go to the funnel so let's go just save it obviously right I've got to save it first oh I think it's automatic for those things all right so now if I just go to this funnel back to funnel and let's just do this funnel myself with a test account right <coughs> so I'm just going to go in here go to this in a new tab which is basically the same as I said it's that perfect prospect that chase guy I'm just going to turn that off for, for now so if I put in here download my free ebook I'm going to put my name in here so js test 2 or let's say five because I don't know how many tests I did so js test five so what will happen it'll create an account for me and grant me access to that it's going to send me a four or five emails I think but let's just see what happens so now I've I'm I'm getting the access I'm going to the second funnel page right where you would watch the video and maybe there's a bonus here other things whatever you want to do you can sell something which is what I should be doing too right but that's kind of how that works then if I go to my email let's go to my email and look at the emails I just got right now I should have gotten a few emails hopefully if this all worked right you know, I don't know maybe it didn't work <clears throat> so now if I go here uh if I can yeah there you go click eCourse secrets to finding a perfect prospect access granted new con this is something for me but if I click on this oh that's actually not sent to me yet that's um, a copy I get as the creator um but let me just reload that let's just give it a second and I'll be back all right I'm not really sure why this is happening but on my Aweber I'm getting these unsubscribed as soon as I as soon as I put those emails in so I tried another email like Frank test over here and that one actually worked it kept it subscribing I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to reach out to Aweber but anyways once that email is in you will get once your email is in this is what you're going to get you're going to get an email that says secrets to finding a perfect process prospect access granted you're going to have the email and the password sent to you so you can just click on this I'm going to open it but normally you just click it and it opens up the actual course where so and this is just so you do that your prospects and see this if you create a course and create an API key and you create a funnel and you you know all this stuff we just did you're going to have access now if you want to access a uh, person is going to need normally this will automatically be accessible and and they're going to just be able to access it right now so if this doesn't work you can actually come in here and you can log in with the user and with the email and password that was sent right so we'll put the email here copy the email address this will be the email right here and then we'll put the password that's there this weird funky looking password and there we go so now it's going to tell me I need an activation there should have been another email or actually that's not true it shouldn't have had to do that you should have been able to activate but I'll fix that by the time but if I click on this it'll just send another email with an activation link to uh, to that email and let's just go back here 
and go back to my inbox you're going to see a new activation link right over here activation on click eCourse it'll look like this which will have a link to activate the account which actually is going to be this and I'm going to open an incognito so that's going to open up this account it's going to activate this account and we're going to now have access to that course and so now if I just I can just show you exactly what happens when somebody clicks on that link in the course let's go back to the link to the course Doo -doo -doo. so this is basically if I open this now this is what I see when I access that course and it shows me all the lessons and I can start watching them right away I don't I have the ebook right here as well and I have all the lessons now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my Aweber because right now what it does under my automation right it basically sends five emails to the well the first email which is welcome here's your ebook and then the next I have three emails that are basically you know um kind of to help people to understand why they want um to uh to you to use this right if I click on this you can see I just created this recently so I don't have a lot of I only have one right subscribe sent to three subscribers sent to two right here but the thing is that these are little emails I'm going to put in here the emails for each of those videos and I'm going to make it an email that says hey go watch that second video go watch that first video go watch that third video and that's kind of what we're going to do here but that's how you take a full video like this full video that we have here which is a 44 minute video and whoops you can't see that put that over here a 44 minute video right and how you take little pieces out of it and then create a course with all the videos uh, little videos here right see these ones are two minutes this one here is one minute one minute 50 one minute 33 so you take all these and create a course out of all these videos that's how you do it all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.